Ladies and gentlemen, Gregory Cockery here for Wildwood Guitars. You know where we're at? We're at NAMM 2019. This is the first event that we start to document on film. Is it really film that we're on? But I think you know what I'm saying. And I'm here with the mighty Dale Wilson. We're at a Fender Custom Shop event Wednesday night before NAMM actually begins. That's right, man. Yeah. And uh, it's always a good opportunity to kind of get a first glimpse at what the offerings are from the Fender Custom Shop. And I always enjoy seeing your creations. Thank you. That's awesome. Good I enjoy hear. them immensely. Yeah. You've tempted me many times with your creations. That's good to hear, too. Yeah, a lot, a lot of beat guitars. I like that. Your relicking jobs are fantastic. Thank you very much. And, I'm, of course, I'm a Tele guy. I mean, I like them all, but yeah. Tele's have a special place in my heart. And what you do to a Telecaster is delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Would you please share with us some of your creations for this year that might uh, intrigue us? Yeah, I have a couple. I have a couple tellies here. Uh, this is a, a that is Hevelini's fantastic natural that I, I've seen seen a couple pictures of some old guitars that I just thought I'd love to have that guitar. So right. I, so I, you made it. I attempted to make it. Yeah. Beautiful. So, uh, and then I got a. Uh, this is kind of a, a smoked uh, no caster. Yes. Uh, or butterscotch actually. And that one right there uh, is the same oh, yeah. thing. I saw a guitar that was just beat and burnt, looked all, you know, like it'd been through a fire or whatever. And I just thought, man, I want to try to capture that uh, grungy look. So, yes. So I did there too. You know? Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, it's pretty much a lot with all these the relics and stuff. It's usually something that I, that I've collected, like a, a a picture of an old guitar that I, I want to recreate. Right. So, that's usually always my inspiration is some kind of old guitar, you know, even these things. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. So which, how many of these are your creations? You know, I got all these. 14. All of these? Yeah. I kind of overdid, this overdid really, it. This one's This is stunning as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that is a 55. Yep. I kind of try to hit years, you know what I mean? I figure I can't, can't, can't do wrong that way. You right. Know? So. This is beautiful as well. Thank you very much. Uh, I got a spruce, uh, spruce 50 uh, Strat over here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look at that. Oh. That thing weighs nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I had an uh, inter interesting looking piece of spruce. It wasn't quite quarter sawn, kind of riff sawn, and I thought that would, that would look bitchin' as a, as a relic, so I went to town on it and awesome. was happy with the way it turned out and put it in the show, you know? It's beautiful. Uh, thank you. <laughs> And this looks like a normal red sparkle uh, strat, but it's actually candy apple over uh, gold sparkle. So when the when the red starts, it's really thin, and when the red uh, the, the candy apple starts coming off, you'll see the gold sparkle coming through. I was fighting whether I should have relicked this so that you could see the gold sparkle. Right. But I really liked the fade right here. I, it's hard yeah. to see here, but the fade of going kind of to an orange to the deep deep red. And again, it's really hard to see in this room. Yeah. Yeah, that's a stunning piece as well. Yeah. Yeah. So and again with these, you'll make as many as are ordered, right? It's yes. Yeah, I love making them. So yeah, as, as many as are ordered, I'll, uh, I'll attack. And these know? particular patterns that are on these guitars are is something that you have. That each one that is made like this is is pretty damn similar. Correct? Yep. yep exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Again, That's crazy. They're, they're inspired off, off of, of a picture of, of a picture of yeah, a guitar. Yeah. So yeah, it's something that I keep in you know, on file or whatever, and I'll try to get closer and closer and closer right. with, each, with each guitar. Well, you so. know, it's interesting. I see sometimes you know when we're doing videos, and they'll post the videos and on YouTube. Of course, there's always people on YouTube saying weird <laughs> stuff, and. Uh, <laughs> And a lot of times, like, well, what's the, you know, why beat the guitar into submission and so on and so forth? And I'm always like, well, they sound different for one, but just to, what you spoke to is like, you see a guitar that inspires you, you're like, man, yeah. I'd like to own that guitar yeah. that has this particular That's exactly look. exactly what happens. And yeah. there it is. Yep. And if you want that thing, cool. It exists yeah. for you to get it, which yeah. is unbelievable. And it's also art. Yeah. If you want a guitar that's brand spanking new that you want to defile, that is yeah. your choice as well. Yeah. It's a free and, country and as far as I understand. And we're willing to make those too. We right. love making those. Right. And uh, we've recently made guitars that are uh, the relic finish, so it's super, super thin. You know, where the, the, there's almost no difference between the wood and the finish. Right. And the person can relic yeah, the it relic themselves. Ready. That's what yeah. we do at that wild yeah, exactly. 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 So uh, yeah, we're in all of it. We we want to do all of it, right. whether it's relics or relic ready or whatever it takes. classic or NOS. Or There's a flavor whatever. for everyone, is what yeah. you're saying. And the reason they sound different isn't because of the scratches. 
They sound different because the finish is it's, different. There's less finish yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Some people say, oh, you know, I, I think last time we did, we did an interview and somebody had said something. In fact, they, they made this big video about how I was trying to say that the scratches made it sound better. And that's totally not the No, point. that's not the it's case. the finish. Exactly. Mix. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And, I, think I love we doing it all, I think we man. just solved Relic Gate. <laughs> I love doing it all. Relic yeah. Gate. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's well, all good. We love them all. Exactly. Yeah. I think there's, there's a flavor for everybody. Yeah, definitely. I can dig it. Well, thanks so much for taking time. Yeah, thank, thank you, and, man. And again, beautiful work. Always a pleasure to see and hear and play your guitars, and great to see you as well. Thank you. And uh, Greg Hawk here at the Fender Lair in uh, Anaheim at NAMM 2000. And 19 with Dale Wilson, master builder extraordinaire. We'll see you cats later. Thanks.